I is level 9 in 75 and now is a type 6. This is my type 6. Uh, it's something that, you know, not many people would fly in open. Um, especially one with no weapons. But why would you put weapons on a type 6? Two small hard points aren't doing anything. Uh, just save the weight and you can keep your speed up. Uh, now, my type 6, as you know, the rebuy is not too bad. The shield strength is very low. Um, decent resistances, but very, very low. And the armor, the armor is okay for a type 6. Um, it has armor, which a lot of people wouldn't have on their type 6. Uh, but I play in open, so I have to be able to defend myself even in my type 6. Um, now I'm doing a community goal here that was Empire Slaves. So if you're doing a community goal that's Empire and Slaves, you're likely to draw flak because you're going to have Federation pilots trying to stop you, you're going to have anti slavers upset at you. You know, it's one of those community goals you're likely to get attacked. Whether that be by a griefer, a genuine fed dissenter, or someone who's just opposed to slaving. You know, there are going to be people that will attack you. Um, so when I flew to this community goal, I knew full well I was likely to be attacked. Um, I did about, I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember how many runs I did. But it was three quarters of a million per run um, in my ship. And I did a good few runs. Um, and here I get interdicted. Now I don't try and escape the interdiction. Um, what I'm doing here is not trying to escape the interdiction, but just making sure it doesn't kick me out into normal space until I've had a chance to throttle back. Um, I must admit I wasn't paying the, the greatest amount of attention uh, when I arrived at the start. I, I was slacking, and in open you shouldn't do that. You always be mindful of what's approaching behind you. Now here I, you know, I don't panic, and that's the main thing. Just don't panic. You're under attack. You know you're under attack. Just don't panic. Just turn around pick a star if you're sensible like me you know roughly what star you're looking at the direction you're facing um, if you've been there two or three times you'll know what's generally that direction um, and as you can see I get start getting shot at another pilot drops in it's a wing um, you can see frag cannons look at my hull but I escaped and if you heard it you heard me drop a heat sink late in that the reason for that is because missiles um, the bane of my existence when it comes to being a trader. They will take out your drive quicker than anything. So having a heat sink, dropping it while your shields are still up, means that you'll probably rob them of target lock. So there we go, I escaped. Um, now the reason I was able to do this is my Type 6 has got a few tricks up his sleeve. It's got decent fast thrusters, um, it's got some armor, and some of the modules are engineer upgraded. But the most important thing, the one upgrade that's really, really important on there is I've sacrificed a cargo slot for module reinforcement. It's not essential, but in those situations, if your thrusters go out, you're dead. If your power plant goes out, you're probably not dead because you've you know, balanced your system so you can run half power. But you need to keep your thrusters alive, and for that I use module reinforcement. Many players don't, and that's why they die. But there's nothing more satisfying than escaping in an unarmed Type 6 from a potential attacker. Uh, it gives you that smug feeling all evening long. But anyway, I'll leave it there and say that's all. Thanks for watching. It was, I thought, quite a decent escape.